rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Tim. Next on the agenda are the minutes, December 28th. Motion, Gary and Tom. Motion made and seconded to approve the minutes, December 28th. All those in favor? Any old business? No old business? Public works, plow truck repair, which does everybody? They're going to fix it up. It's beyond his warranty, but it's only got 36,000 miles on it. So we filed a claim before, we've got a claim number. Over the years, we wanted to get it done to the dealership and, and uh, you know, check with the dealership and then talk back and forth. We've been successful about getting some, you know, 50% of the patents or something. So we may get something out of that. We may not, too. We've also been successful at getting nothing. So. Uh, we tried everything. We looked at the motor that we had that all burned out one thing. What burned burn, and that one was the motor and that didn't always any. We actually tore it out and looked burned. That got filled with water and burned that's no good. And we tried it with KQ. So there's no such thing as one of them second hand. They can't even get a rebate anyway. So, off to the shop she went. It's one plus J Bill, everything from town drive basically to London Drive. So it's over there. I think that was going to be what eleven thousand four hundred and sixty-two dollars and thirty-eight cents. I think that's be <laughs> because the town manager and I also, by using the exception, can't remember which paragraph that is, for repairs in emergency situation, we can approve it in, on that, uh, which brings us. A, I see we really have a couple motions here. One is basically to approve what town manager and I approved with the public works. Then the second question I think also relates to that as far as the cost of something, 10000 in repairs, should that come in front of the board if time will and then it's not an emergency. Did I say that about right, John? I didn't. I only heard about after the thing. So when John and I started talking about this, um, we took out the policy, and I said, "Well, it's over ten thousand, so it goes to the board." There's this provision for an emergency, which I considered a plow truck in January to be an emergency situation. Um, but then, as part of the bigger discussion, we were talking about whether the policy is geared more towards a purchase over 10000 or if it is geared towards repairs over 10000 as well. And the, it's not really very clear in there at all. Um, so we're doing it as though it's covered regardless, but I said we were here tonight anyway, so we might as well talk about the board's opinion and how you feel about that. Um, yeah, but when we put this thing, reviewed this back a couple of years ago and you come up with it, that at the end of it was put in this emergency thing because it didn't fit for a truck that was called that need twenty four thousand dollars worth of work, waiting two weeks for meeting, no, it didn't work, so the exemption was put in there. But then <coughs> G it kind of I don't know what it does. In the event of emergency required media attention, public safety help, blah blah blah, purchasing agent for child, upon teleterry, scary is authorized to make such expenses as absolute necessary without going through the because of the sealed bid process. And then it has to be ratified this meeting. We question the <coughs> reasoning for that because you can't unqualify it. So it's already, it's already torn flat. Yeah. <coughs> and I don't think it was meant to apply. I think the exemption came at the end for a reason. You know that it didn't work and you exempted it. This could apply for a lot of other things over ten thousand dollars. And that was that's under the emergency piece. There's also in section seven an exemption 
for repairs to town, home vehicles, and specialized equipment. As far as working with, like if you have a dealership that you work with, instead of going and getting bids from three different <coughs> dealerships, if you go to Hype, then you, that, you know, mm. take your vehicle there and then get a repair without getting that. Last time I bought a truck, we couldn't give three quotes. Nobody buys stamps anymore, sends anything in an envelope. They say, here's our price, they email your price, and you're done. We're doing the same thing. But this doesn't fit a lot of things. And we've had this talk before. You spent, I don't know how many hundreds of dollars in time going through this whole policy. Paid $175 for one door quote last year from a company that we knew was $10,000 high, but we had to have three quotes. I regret they take a look at the whole thing sometimes. Yes, Gary. <laughs> when did this first arrive, this issue? Just last, uh, this, was it this week or last week? I can't remember what days, month. last uh, week. Terry got, it one last of the employees got called in for a call in when it was, what was it, Route 140 got reopened? So we got called in. Sunday, Monday, yeah, after the rain, the 140 went underwater, and uh, the DOT called me. I called the call and he went up to sand and that. They opened the road back up and then went with all ice. They do the construction work and the barricading, we do the sanding, salting, and plowing and clock the roads. So I sent him out there. He called me halfway back. <laughs> Truck went into limbo, you know, sound good. That was Sunday a week ago. Yep. Two weeks ago now. Yep. Yep. And last week they fixed it, correct? Yeah, so being told. Yeah. Most of went last week. Yes, sir. Um, I'm curious why there wasn't an emergency meeting call to discuss this prior to going up and having it fixed and having it repaired. I mean, we could have met as a board rather than put all the onus on the chair and the, and, the, uh, and the town manager. I think we could have made ourselves available in any event of emergency like that. So this is considered a, an emergency. And I think if, there, if John or I had questioned whether, you know, what choice should we be making? You know, is there, a, if there's, there are another option that would be a better choice or possibly be a better choice but would cost more than that type of thing? We probably would have tried to do something like that. This was pretty cut and dry and they were able to get it in last Monday to start working on it, so. And that's why the policy says to do it. Right. But we could have had an emergency meeting to discuss those very issues that you're discussing with us now. And that way, we wouldn't be here agreeing to this after the fact. Right, but that's what's allowed in the that's policy. What, that's what the policy states, though. We'd have to change the policy. <clears throat> so you don't need to approve the board that we've already done, right? It requires after the fact ratification. Afterwards. Oh, okay. Thank you. We we can relook at the policy I'm again. We should have had a meeting to discuss it when the issue came up. It's an emergency situation. We should be informed of it, and we should act upon it ASAP. I mean, that's the purpose of us being change of person's policy. So yeah. Send it over to Emerald Falls for a day and have an emergency book. It doesn't have to. Don't have to do that. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I just looked at the policy and I followed what it said. And, and I did too. If didn't say that in the policy, that that's what we should do, then we could have done, you know, held an emergency meeting because our hands would have been tied. We've had to done that in the past for other things, maybe not of this monetary value, but it was issues that come up to become an emergency that the board should be all informed about. Right. If there's an emergency that there's no um, mechanism that the board's previously approved to address that, then yes, but this is a policy the board has previously approved that addresses that. <coughs> yeah. Any other questions, comments? <coughs> Make a motion to approve $11,462.38. Motion made and seconded. All those in favor? All those opposed?
Next on the agenda is the fire department. Uh, really, there's a couple things. The review on all call trial program and wages. Uh, I'd like to take the wages first, just because it's kind of cut and dry. <laughs> uh, you know, basically the wages is request to adjust the base pay for the fire department. And not, it's not special to certified positions or duties, people, or anything else. This is across the board. And there'll be no change for the officers' stipends and additional pay, people. Questions, comments? You got a question? Or? No, I just wanted them to review and tell us the success of That's what that's what this is based on. I know it's not just talking about that, and uh, I just want them to hear from the fire department. That's all. Basically, it will be be to increase 15 cents, which is the. So on the minimum wage increase, a few years ago we had a committee together. <coughs> Going along with the minimum wage increases, we had everybody got that raise to keep the distance apart. So we just like to do that with this increase. Basically, give everybody 15 cents an hour. Any questions? Comments? Make the motion to increase the base pay scale by 15 cents and no change on the officer's stipends and additional pay for 2021. Second. Motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Next is a review on the all call, on call trial program. So we started this, I believe it was uh, November 12th. Uh, so far, it has worked really well. Uh, we've had quite a few people step up and take the shifts. Uh, we haven't missed a day yet. We've had two more on since then. Started off the first day with a structure fire that afternoon. So <laughs> that would do it. But, yeah. I mean, Darren has the numbers of calls we've responded to with the on call people. But so far, I think it's working. For the price of it, it's working really well. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody's, <clears throat> I haven't heard anything negative about it from the numbers. Looks like we've had what, 13 people, different people, that have taken some of that off. So just for reference of that 13, we only have 29 members on our roster right now. Of those 29, uh, five of them either live out of town or are currently on, a, on leave because they're at boot camp or, or something of that sort. So you're getting, that makes almost more than half of those people have signed up for at least one shift in that time. What we're talking about is, is if we do this, is basically budgeting for $20,800. <clears throat> Anybody got any questions or comments? <clears throat> My question, I guess, would be if, say, if you guys are not even continuing this program, budget wise, I think our payroll can if we keep doing this, running the calls we've been on, which we've been over this year. I think we're going to overdraft on our paper. But I think I will have enough left in my fuel account to offset that cost. So it shouldn't, it shouldn't wipe that out. Now, from the on call, the job duties, <clears throat> last when the trial program was put together, it, it's basically 10 hour shifts for two people, four dollars per hour. It's a statement of forty dollars a day. And if they go out on a fire call, then their current wage, whatever, might be fifteen dollars or whatever it is, 
takes an effect so instead of 19. I think I, I don't know if I just didn't explain it properly. Or well, that's why I was reading. Right. Well, what the plan was was the $40 is, is the stipend to be on call, be available. And then if there is a call, you get that. You'll be on top of the $40 now. <coughs> $40 stipend is just Does anybody have any questions? <clears throat> oh, it looks like you got a pretty good field of people who've been showing up. Not everybody's got to do it all the time. Kind of like you had before, where the same guys are showing all the time. <coughs> Sounds like. Uh, it looks like you get more participation in the needed areas. I do think it has sparked some interest with some of the other members that haven't participated or been as active of late. So I do think that has been one benefit of having a second position during the course of the year. $40 stipend is a lot, a lot less money than trying to have something for the end. Now, can any of the people sign up to do that? So right now, the junior firefighters can. Just firefighters? The junior firefighters can only. But there has to be at least one driver operator that the other is just fine. Yeah. So that is a pretty much everybody except for our junior firefighters. Is that what you call the hot shots? You see a problem at all with, you know, if I get in the 40 and then I go out and then three other people show up, but I'm getting more money than them. I think, I, from my standpoint, that $40 or the $4 hour pretty will get to is, you know, that's the, I promise I'm going to show up so that way I know if there's some and then the regular call pay on top of that. I, I don't think anyone has had a problem with that that I'm aware of. Um, I don't know what the board spot is there, but the, the hope is, is that $40 stipend at least sparks that interest so we get people to show up and maintain the, um, the effectiveness of the department because we are pretty well human centers. Anybody else have any questions? Yes, Gary. So if they're on call and, and they get uh, the stipend of forty dollars a day to be on call, and they agree to do that. If they don't show up on a response, how do we address that? Well, luckily we haven't had that issue. The only thing we've had is you know things come up, so all they have to do is get a hold of myself and call the deputy chief. And we have normally if someone knows someone you know, something's coming up, they say I can wear it till two, so I gotta find someone to come wear it till the last two and a half hours. But right now we have nothing written in stone for discipline actions. And then yeah. if I may turn. Yeah. Um, the notes that I have before me, I don't know if you're familiar with them or not, but it says here that it's the cost of continuing to run this program for about twenty thousand eight hundred dollars a year, is that right? $100 a week. And you say you don't have enough money, you may have to take it out. I think fuel. Looking at my budget right now, <clears throat> if we stay on pace with the calls we have, it will be very close. I don't know, I can't predict what we're going to have for calls, but we're going to be close. So, just as a clarification, if I may. Uh, the $40 stipend for that person to be on call, if there is a call, they get the uh, rate of pay, which is very indicated, indicated here, plus they keep the $40. Right. Unless we want to do something. Like that. <coughs> that 20800 is for next year, correct? That would be for a full year. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Motions? I make a motion that we continue for next year the on-call program. Uh, the 
estimated additional cost hundred dollars that what the number was. Yeah. Uh, put down the next year's the next year's budget. Next year's budget there will be an increase in the payroll on Question? Yes. Has there been any discussion with the hourly and wage division of the Department of Labor regarding the stipends and how that how that works that there's there's no implications or indications that, that that might be a problem by hourly wage right yeah lisa did um, a webinar thing on it just recently so it's seven. okay by the department of labor to, yep. to do the stipends yep. that way and is that going to be reflective of any issues regarding earned leave as well it doesn't will that be counted the, towards it no the on-call pay the on-call hours don't count towards earned paid time but if they aren't called in, then would it be? If they're, no, because emergency calls don't count towards earned paid time. If they came okay. in for a training or truck checks or a, a meeting, a regular meeting, those all count, but an emergency call doesn't. Yeah. Thank you. You second it, Tom. I'm sorry. Yeah. Motion made and seconded to continue the on call program. And for 20800 be budgeted for next year. All those in favor? <coughs> Thanks, guys. Next is the earned paid leave. Child's favorite subject. <laughs> You want to just sure. So we, we took the personnel policy. Um, there was a couple minor changes in the in the earlier part of the policy, but the major one is section 44, which is the earned paid leave, and we dumped the new section in um, in in the leave area to address our paid leave. So it's basically for every if this applies to employees that don't already get this at the minimum so our union contracts are already greater than this so it would be them it would really just be our part-time employees um, reserve officers stipend employees uh, that those those positions that would qualify for this so you get for every 40 hours you work you earn one hour of paid leave um, and that accumulates throughout the year. You can carry over from one year to the next. You can't ever accrue more than 40 hours. Um, so that's how it's accrued. The way you use it, um, if you have an employee, like say we have a part-time employee that normally works 20 hours a week, they know what their schedule is. They say, I've got five hours of earned time. You know, I'd like to, in four weeks from now, take this day off and they get approval, they can do that. The other way you can use it is in an emergency situation. So say that same employee um, has a child that's sick and needs to stay home with them that day. They can call in and say, you know, I can't come in today. I'm going to use my yard cage leave for that. Um, it gets a little bit more complicated when it's like the fire department personnel or the police reserve officers because the reserve officers, for instance, sign up for shifts when they want them. Um, so if they, you know, knew they had something else, they probably wouldn't sign up for the shift anyways. But the same could be true, you know, they're signed up for a shift and their car breaks down and they're going to be in two hours late. They could use that earned paid leave for that type of thing. Yes, Gary. So the hours can only be used in increments of one hour? In at, they can't be used in less than an hour. So you can't take 15 minutes off at a time, but you could take four hours off. Yeah. But at least if one you hour. You have that available, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Yeah. I didn't see that in there. That's why I asked Yeah. The yeah. I don't want somebody coming in and use 15 minutes here. Yeah. I think I want to go home 15 minutes early today, so I'll use that. It goes somewhere. Any other questions? Motion to accept that. Change it. Motion to accept the updated personnel policy. Motion made and seconded for the 
approve the updated personnel policy. All those in favor? Next is the safety mission statement, which <coughs> basically I believe we have to do about every year, <coughs> which hasn't changed, I don't believe, since last year, but anybody got any questions? Make a motion to accept the mission statement on safety. All those in favor? What's that? Who is the second? Sorry. Tom, so. other business not January 13th budget books are ready for pickup January 19th nomination papers available select board school board and water district budget workshop on January 19th right here in this gym 25th select board meeting six o'clock here February 1st, budget meeting 5 o'clock. February 8th, select board meeting at 6. February 22nd, select board meeting at 6. March 1st, nomination papers due. March 8th, public hearing on warrant, 6 o'clock right here in this gym. March 6th, absentee ballots available for town meeting vote. March 26th? Yeah. I thought you said March 6th. I could hear. <laughs> April 27th, town meeting vote. Yes. I was waving on the other business. Uh oh. <laughs> I'll go back. Yes. Well, I'll deal with this. Uh, give permission to give permission to trade a fight. That one that's over there getting a motor is a 2015. We also have a 2012. Be nine years old in June, probably three months, whatever that is, four months. They don't go any longer than that. We all know that. We've done a transmission on that one. We haven't done a motor on it yet. We did a motor on a 2011 50,000. We're doing this one at 36,000. That one's due, can we say? Yeah. The frame is cracked. We've welded it. We haven't replaced it. We've replaced the frame with another one. Can I give permission to start that process? We started now. God knows how long it's going to take. Then you get your body and you build it on. So going to want to put gasoline this time, stay away from the diesels, they're not, they're, they're just 25. I know Auburn's want to go gas, they like it, they bought it in another one. I'm trying to talk to a network with other people that are doing yeah. this. Right now, Ford's only, Ford cut the GBW with the 550s, which we're talking about, from 195 to 17,000 pounds. But they come up with an F600, that's 2,200 pounds. So we'll be checking for an F600. There's one I'll I know about, internet for a game down there. Mm. The MSRT is 53. But that's a whole lot cheaper. Diesel is another 10 grand or 9700. So we're looking at that anyway. Cabbage jacks. Tom just all the new one. Eight weeks out. Yeah. I look at the mission to trade that one. Come up. Get some prices. See what you want to do when I get the prices. Yeah. I'm just working this asking for 
But um, I missed what you were asking for. Is it a payload, a front end load, a truck, or an F600 pickup truck? Front end load dump truck. We have, we have two of them, a plow Jayco, one plow Chisholm. Okay. The one that plows Chisholm is currently in Merrill's garage. One plows Jay Village in the motor and ice garage. Neither one of them are functional right now. Does anybody have any concerns not to do this? No. <coughs> well, get the numbers, it's going to take some time. Anyway. Yep. It might take two weeks, get numbers, it might take four, I don't know. Yep. Yep. I'd rather have them early and look at them, too. So, yep. Good. Thank you much. Anything else? What? Motion to adjourn? No. Motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Cool.